hello! In this lecture, I am going to show you how to tune your harp to the key of G. Okay? Now, before watching this lecture, make sure you've watched my previous lecture on tuning your harp to C. Okay? And again, this is for people that have watched my video on tuning a full range lever harp to E flat to begin with. Okay? So, you first watch that video. You learned how to put all the levers down and tune your harp to E flat. All right. So in the previous lecture, I talked about how to tune your harp to C. All right. Now this one, this key is different than the key of C. And let me show you an example of what makes it different. So when you look at a piece of music and you see before, right in the beginning of that music, you see this symbol, which is a sharp symbol, you're going to see you look at it closely, you're going to see it's on line F. Okay, remember every good boy deserves fudge. So it's on that line F. So that's going to help you out because you're going to know when you see a sharp, one sharp, it's on F. That means that on your harp, all of the Fs are going to be sharp. Okay, that means they're going to be higher than a natural F. So let me show you this. So in the key, this is called the key of G. When you have one sharp, it's called the G key of G. And I'm not going to go into a lot of theory right now, but the reason it's called the key of G is because when you play a G scale, a major G scale, it's going to have an F sharp in it. All right? So let me show you how to tune your harp to the key of G. Okay? So. You watched my video on how to tune the harp to the key of C. I showed you how to raise the E's and the A's and the B's, okay? So that is the position that this harp is in right now. It's in the key of C, okay? I've raised the E's, the A's, and the B's. So this is a good lecture to watch right after my lecture on tuning your harp to the key of C because your harp is going to be in that key of C, okay? Right now, all of the harp, all of the notes, all of the strings are in the natural position. See, if I pluck B, it's just a B. There's no flat, there's no sharp, it's just B. And that goes for all of the strings. Okay, so since we only want an F sharp, what we're going to do, and this is actually an easy, easy key to figure out because all F's are blue. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find those blue notes, those F's, right? And now we're going to locate the lever on that string and we're going to put it up, okay? Because that's going to raise it. That's going to make it sharp. So we're going to do the same thing with all those F strings, okay? Now, another thing I want to show you, I want you to start on the G string. Find that string above F and pluck it. Okay, now play one string above that, it's the A, B, one string above that. Now listen, if you listen, you'll see that this is a meat or here, that this is kind of what you expect a scale to sound like. And pluck that F sharp. Okay, so I'm not going to go too much into theory, but I just want to show you that, um, the reason it's called key of G is because a G major scale has an F sharp in it. Okay? So that's just a little theory. Don't want to overwhelm me right now. Just want you to know how to play in the key of G. So when you see a piece of music and you see one sharp in the very beginning, like this example here, you see this symbol at the very beginning, that's going to tell you that you are in the key of G, okay? And what that means is that you are going to have an F sharp on your harp, okay? Every All the other notes in this key are going to be natural, okay? So a good way to check that you are actually in the key of G is to actually pluck each string on your harp and make sure that all of the notes except for F are natural. And then when you pluck that F, it's going to be, it's going to say F sharp. Okay. So I know this sounds like a lot of information at first. Um, 
That's why I'm trying to go slow and just do one key at a time. But I want you to know, um, when you see a piece of music that has one sharp, that is what you were going to do before you played that piece of music. Okay? So that's the key of G. In my next lecture, I am going to show you how to play in the key of D. All right, see you next time.